Hello there everyone and welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Lisa and I'm so glad that y'all are here today. In all of my videos, I try to encourage y'all to do one thing or clean one space. And so today I'm going to practice what I preach. This is labeled as a quote unquote junk drawer, but really there's not junk in here. I think that every space in your home should have a purpose. And this drawer is the drawer that holds all the odds and ends that you need around your home. I have my hand sanitizers, I have straws, chip clips and bag clips, door stoppers, extra travel Kleenex packets, screwdrivers, flashlights, everything like that. And this is its home. But this catch-all drawer has become junky, it is disorganized, and things have just gotten out of control. Y'all can relate to it with a space in your home, I'm sure. So we are going to take it on today. We are going to organize it, purge any junk and trash, get everything back in its home and where it goes. And I am so glad that you are here to join me for it. I am going to inspire you and motivate you, hopefully, to do what I always preach. Take on just one small space in your home. Always try to do one small thing that will make you feel good in your home today. Too many times If I say that I still love you, baby Would you leave all bad things behind? I promise I will mess things up like I did last once we have initially sorted through the drawer and removed everything, we'll give it a good clean. Today I'm using this Modere multi-surface spray and wiping out the drawer. Decided it's been too long, baby. Reaching out to touch your heart. Hope for a maybe. I get a one-way ticket down the memory lane. There are two hearts beating. Just nothing will ever be the same. We had a chance. I had this final drawer liner left over from a previous project, but I picked it up at Dollar Tree, so you can get it there for $1.25 a roll. It's not very long, so it required me to use two rolls, but it's perfect. It has a gripper back, so it does not slide in the drawer. The lighter color also brightens up the drawer with this dark stain so that it makes everything easier to see and find when I'm getting into the drawer to get items out. I have had this divided tray for years. I think it was originally a silverware or utensil organizing tray, but I'm going to be reusing this. It works great to divide up and compartmentalize the drawer so that I can sort all of these little items easier. I also found these clear organizing bins at TJ Maxx and picked them up so that I could use them in the space that was left over in the drawer. It is a six piece set and I got it for $7.99. It always takes just a little bit of time to figure out how you want to put the containers and organizers in your space so that it works the most efficiently. I was so sad because these were literally 
maybe a fourth of an inch too big to go down the side between the existing canvas tray and the new organizers. But I made it work and everything eventually goes just like I want it and works out well. It's a feeling that I can't get rid of. So just take my hand. I want to be with you until the end. Stay with me. Take a chance, baby. Roll the dice. Gotta give me some love because when I'm with you, I'm in paradise. Do you have a drawer or space in your kitchen that seems to catch everything and get disorganized and chaotic? If so, let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys, so don't be shy and leave me a comment. If you enjoy cleaning videos, organization, decorating, shopping, shopping hauls, and cooking, content that helps you to keep your house tidy, neat, and clean, then I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar and ring the bell, setting your notifications to all. I have a passion for homemaking and love to share that with y'all here on my channel. You can also find me over on Instagram at uniquely lisa2 that's lisa with an e and the number two i would love for you to join my social media family there as well heading to vegas in my blue stripe car she's riding shotgun and she looks like a star yeah she's got the style that makes you think she's made out of gold she says she likes it better when we go off road yeah. And now at this stage of the organization, you just have to put everything back in its place. I group like items together and work from there. I purged out any old clips that were broken, any expired hand sanitizers. I rehomed some items that actually went in other places in the house but had gotten put in this drawer, you know, in a lazy little state of mind there. The key to a good organization project is to work start to finish on the space. So immediately clean everything out, purge it, put everything back in like it goes, and then rehome all the bits and pieces that are left. If you address it when you're in the middle of the project, it will go so much better than if you put it aside to tend to later. If you set it aside for later, I feel like it always tends to just create a pile and grow and grow and grow and then creates another problem area for you. So always be diligent about starting the project and seeing it through to the end. That's why I say some days a little project is perfect. You don't have a big chunk of time, energy, or the mental state to take on something large, but maybe you can do a shelf or a drawer something small. It's always progress over perfection. So now that I have my drawer all organized and back into tip-top shape, I'm going to take a few minutes to rehome all these items and put them where they properly go, like I said earlier. I'll never let you slip away. Oh, oh, oh and you don't have to be afraid. 
I'm going to give my kitchen a quick tidy up by wiping down the countertops, vacuuming the floors, and getting all the dog fur off of my rugs. Until the end of time I have found that using this Norwex upholstery brush gets the fur off of these rugs so much better than my vacuum. It has rubber bristles that grab the fur. You just lightly rub it across any surface that you're wanting to pick up fur, lint, or crumbs from. And then I'm gonna just brush it into a pile and then suck it up with my vacuum. I also think it is very satisfying to see. I do this once or twice a day to keep my kitchen clean and sanitary. I am so glad that y'all were all here watching today for this drawer organization and cleaning motivation. You may not have a drawer to organize, but maybe this will motivate you to take on something in your own home. I hope that you are energized, inspired, and ready for some organization. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment below. I love to hear from y'all, and I work my way through all the comments, answering each and every one of you back. If you haven't already done so, I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar and ring your bell. I would love for you to come back for future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. You have so many choices of YouTube videos, and I am just beyond grateful that you watched mine. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Fall out of love as you're supposed to This was a phase that I was a mistake